New tonight at 8, the CHP is continuing its investigation into the deadly crash that killed two people on Highway 880 Monday morning. According to investigators, former Raiders linebacker Thomas Howard was driving his BMW at speeds more than 100 miles an hour when he struck the back of a big rig, causing him to lose control and sending him into oncoming traffic, hitting and killing the driver of an SUV. Today, Crown Force Scott Rates was given special access to the CHP's evidence area in Oakland. He shows us the next steps in this investigation. Where the vehicle impacted this car is right here on the hood in the A pillar. The driver's seat would be right here. As you can see, the steering wheel was crushed. The full weight of the BMW landed on the driver, crushing the driver here and killing him instantly. It's one of the worst accidents he has ever seen. CHP officer Daniel Hill shows us what's left of the crushed cars involved in the fiery crash along Interstate 880. It's the crash that took the lives of 64-year-old Zheng Long Lu and former Raiders linebacker Thomas Howard early Monday morning. The driver was driving at almost double the speed limit, which is ridiculous for that location. Ridiculous, he says, because normal freeway speed limits are 65. On 880, they've lowered the speed limit to 55 or 45. Based on the conditions that are changing all the time, the construction, the narrow lanes. Now the CHP is tasked with trying to figure out why Howard was driving so fast, and they will be looking at all possibilities. So what we'll do is we'll look at the victim's uh, life that led up to that uh, collision from 24 hours prior, what his state of mind was, what he may have been doing prior to the collision that may have caused him to drive at a, such a speed. We'll also do a complete vehicle inspection. This collision would not have happened if the driver of the BMW had simply driven at a more reasonable speed. That man's family will no longer have him coming home on a day-to-day -day basis because of the other driver's choices. And the CHP telling me that the final part of the investigation will be the autopsy results. They expect to get those back in about a week, maybe longer. They say at that point, though, they will know for sure whether any drugs or alcohol might have contributed to this crash. Reporting in Oakland, Scott Rates, Cron 4 News.